Hi, and now in this class, we'll see about the implementation of Kubernetes services. So we had already discussed about the cluster IP, load balancer, node port, and external name services, okay? So currently in this class, we will see the implementation, how you can do with the commands. So before starting the video, let me just check the status of the minikube. So it might be running, okay, so it's running. So you can also check in your case by typing this command that is minikube status, okay? Moving forward, what we have to do, first of all, we will create one deployment. We will do one deployment. So how you can do deployment using kubectl. So we will do kubectl create deployment and the deployment name I give today web app and the image that I will use is nginx. So, okay, for, I forgot to write this hyphen hyphen. Okay, okay, image is created. Now we can just check the deployment using get deployment command. And also we will check the pods. So where you can see web app pod is, has been created, like one is running. So only one pod has been created for that single deployment. Okay. So now moving forward, what we have to do today is I will first show you one picture. So here you can see that I have these four service types and what services we can expose to the outside world. So as you know, cluster IP, we cannot note port. Yes, we can do and load balancer. We can do external name also. We can't do. Okay. So let's see how we have to do. So the first thing which we do is that is cluster IP. So as you know about the cluster IP, it's created by the default. Okay. So now, first of all, we will check what are the services we have already. So kubectl get services if I do. So here you can see I have only these two services. Now what I am going to do, I will just create one, uh, uh, what type of service we can say, uh, cluster IP service if I do. So how you can do it? but we cannot expose it to the outside world. So to uh, expose that cluster IP service, the command which we have that is kubectl expose deployment and the name of deployment we need to use that is in our case we have web app and then here we will not define the port. Uh, so port I'm saying uh, here we will not define that uh, type, what type of service we want to expose. So if you will not define it, so by default it's cluster IP. Okay, so if I do it, so let's check again the get services. So here you can see the type which we have that is cluster IP. Okay. So this is the cluster IP, the type which has been created. Okay. That service. Now uh, in the cluster, like uh, if there are some other ports as well, then they can communicate to using this IP. Okay. So now moving forward, we have that is node port. Okay. So what we can do with that okay and how we will do it so let me just clear the screen and again I will be using the same command but here instead of uh, uh, like we will add one more flag that is hyphen hyphen type and here we need to define the type is node port okay so here the type will be node port and if I will do hit enter then what that service is be that service will be created okay so here let me tell you something like here the port which you are seeing here that is port equal to 80 it means like you are like uh, that your application whatever the application is running that is running on that port number that is uh, like here in our case that is nginx so nginx basically runs on port 80 so that's why we are defining here that our application is basically running on port 80 in the ports or the container okay and here we are defining the node port service so what will happen for the node port we get uh, the ports assigned between 30,000 to 30,000 uh, 32,667. Okay, so between these two, uh, uh, that port will be assigned. So if I do hit enter, so here you can see uh, web app already exists. Okay, no problem. So what we can do here, I will just use dash and I will write a node port. Okay, so, okay, sorry. Uh, expose deployment web app. Okay, yeah, fo I forgot one thing, see. Uh, we need to provide that hyphen hyphen name equal to web app hyphen node port and here you can see service exposed and if I do uh, get services so here you will see web app node port okay so here you can see that type is node port and the name of this service is this web app node port so now what we can do here now we can just check the uh, what URL has been assigned to that like because of node port service we can access this outside the world it means we can access it using our browsers what are the URLs how, how you will check the URL and what 
what uh, what is the IP address all these things how you will check it so here you can see uh, the first which we have that is port number is this one we they have assigned that is 32,249 okay so now what we can do actually this is we are doing in minikube so in minikube we can check the IP address using this minikube IP so this is our IP okay so using this IP only we can access that particular service so what we will happen what we can do we can just copy this and let me open up this uh, Mozilla Firefox and I will just uh, hit uh, enter and I will paste the 322249 was that I guess yeah so here you can see that uh, default web page of nginx is coming on the screen so in this way you can access the uh, whatever service you want using this particular IP suppose and now suppose if you are in the like working environment or there are no only one node and one uh, one master node and one worker node so what you will do in this case so in this case you can use this command that is mini cube service uh, and the name what we have is here web app service name is web app node port hyphen hyphen url okay so this will give you the url so this is the same url which we have used just now okay so in this way you can use the node port service as well so that was very uh, easy actually so and let me tell you some story behind it what happens what actually happens when you create this service so suppose in your cluster you have uh, two to three nodes like worker nodes okay so at every node what will happen at every node that port will open that current port which you are seeing here that is 32,249 so what will happen at every at every node that port will open and then what whenever someone request so whenever someone requests to that uh, particular your service so it will be redirected to the kubernetes service and then kubernetes service will decide to which port or to which uh, uh, like whatever service they have to provide okay this is the like some stories so actually notepad is also considered as uh, like not secured okay because it opens the port and uh, suppose some malicious user come then they can access that port and some information can be like uh, what we say the word that is ransomware or something like that okay so now moving forward what we have to do here is uh, we will talk about now that is the uh, load balancer okay so we have already discussed about the load balancer so how you can expose that load balancer service so th this is the same thing which we do we have to just uh, sorry uh, we have to just uh, uh, change the name here that name which we have that is load balancer and the type which we have is oh, and the type which we have is load balancer load balancer service exposed let me check the services so here you can see web app load balance is the service created and the uh, here you can say it's pending because uh, we it's not like load balance is not here like we are just doing it all these things locally that's why it's showing external ip as none and pending okay so moving forward what we can do uh let me just again check the ip of my mini cube uh what it is okay this one and here you can see the port number which is now assigned is this one 30317 so if i will do uh this change the port number then also what we can do it will just uh, come on this screen as well Be why this because like uh, we are accessing this uh, on this particular port but our uh, whatever the thing is it is uh, redirecting to that particular port which is running this service so that's why it's happening because of kubernetes service like it, all, it is all being managed by that service okay so now the last one which we have that is uh, external name so let's see how we can do it so what we can do here uh so for the external name what we do basically we uh, we cannot directly like do here because we are doing in this uh, what we say uh, in mini cube so as it's uh, locally we cannot do and we cannot expose to that outside world as well so i have a file uh, which i have created already so here you will see if uh, test.yml so here you can see how you can just uh, uh, create that particular service to that external name exposed to that external name so here you can see in the place of name you can write that whatever name you want okay like whatever the name so whatever the name of service is here uh, okay and in the external name you can define the whatever the external name or external some domain name is there okay 
you can write like that okay so then internally it will work okay so to implement that you can just use this command okay so in this way that uh, external name service will also be exposed so uh, that's all for today's and i hope you like this and if you have any queries you can ask us in the comment section so thank you for watching and i'll meet you in the next video thank you